The A stands for action. Um, if the students have thought about what they know, they've thought about an approach, they've made a plan, they should now be ready to carry out that plan. Um, as they're working, they should be checking that they are using all the information, they should be checking that their answers make sense in the context of the problem, they should have a conscience. So rather than come to the teacher and say, is this right, miss? Um, we're hoping they'll come and say, I've solved this problem, I've checked this problem, um, this is what I now think. So there'll be an amount of proof and justification in that process. Um, the C plan do check model, check was the final stage. We prefer the check to be part of the ongoing problem solving and the final stage in our model is reflection. Um, the mantra, if we don't reflect we've done nothing in mathematics, is really, really significant. So we need the students to actually compare strategies with other students, reflect on the efficiency, what worked, what didn't work, what they learnt in the process that might help them with tomorrow. And I like the thinking of Manu Kapur, who says from today's constructive failure, from the struggle on the problem today, students will do a lot better tomorrow, they'll build on where they left off. So sometimes the reflection is not about the answer, it's about on the learning, on the way through, and how that's going to help them with another problem in a couple of days' time. The nice thing about the STAR model is, because it's child-friendly, we can have conversations with the student. We can say, what part of the STAR are you up to? Because hopefully, after several immersions in this, the students will be using the STAR model spontaneously. And we can say, what were your STAR qualities today? We can make them powerful learners, and we can make them able to talk about where they're up to, how they're progressing, what they need to think about next, what they need to do next. Um, so, yeah, a very powerful model and certainly accessible to students. We've seen receptions beginning to articulate the stages of the STAR model.